All right, guys, so now we're going to send this mesh into Mudbox, ready to paint some face shapes. So this is pretty easy to do. Uh, in, in fact, it's extremely easy. Now, this object here is uh, made of a few too many shapes, so I'm just going to hide his brows because we'll put them on later as their own blend shapes or as wrap deformers. Uh, we can also uh, see that these eyes actually have little um, irises uh, here that we can hide. So I'm just going to hide those guys. We don't need them. And now we just select our three objects. So we've got two eyes in the face, and we need to send that across. It's also a good idea to freeze transforms and delete history on all that stuff. Uh, the other thing to note is that Mudbox is quite picky when it comes to meshes. So if you've got um, strange non-manifold non geometry or geometry errors, Maya is quite forgiving, and Mudbox might not be quite the same. So. Uh, you just want to have a look at that and um, there's a bunch of help stuff on the Autodesk site in order to fix those problems. But in this case let's just go file and then we want to send to Mudbox and send as a new scene. Now if this doesn't work just save them out as OBJs and import them that way so I'll show you that in a separate video. But this is the easy way so it's really just as simple as going send to new scene. This will bring up Mudbox. It'll give us these sorts of things. So. Uh, it just doesn't like this sort of mesh. This is for the eyes. This is completely fine. We just go uh, uh, keep this mesh. It's fine. That'll be for both eyes. <coughs> now you can see it's got like a little error message that's coming up there. This is in 2014, by the way. And we just go mesh errors off. But it's the same in 2013. Now this is our face in, uh, in Mudbox. It's exactly the same as it is in Maya. However, we just need to really remember that we are only in our faceted mode, which looks a bit like this. And we want to stay in this faceted mode. We do not want to be sculpting uh, on any, any uh, smoother than that. So we sort of just have to put up with the fact that we're going to be sculpting on the base mesh. And by hitting the W key, you can see uh, the base mesh here and W is a toggle, so that toggles on and off. If we want to have a bit of a different shader, we can do that by clicking down here in different areas. Uh, our object list is over here just to see what our objects are. And we can see we have face, um, our eye flesh, which are the little tiny parts in there in the eye, and our eyeballs there. So to sculpt on the face, we select the face. Uh, now it, you'll notice it turns yellow. There's a couple of ways of switching off the yellow. One is just to click on the face, open it up, go into FBX one click data. That's kind of the easy way. Uh, the other way is to uh, hit the V key, that's a V for Victor, and just click in the grey area, that will do it as well. Um, if you accidentally do select some yellow, that's kind of the easy way to do it as well, is just hit V for Victor, and then click in the, in the grey area, that's it, and make sure you're back on a normal tool. Uh, so V is just simply the yellow mode, polygon select. Uh, and now we're really ready to start sculpting.